the second season of The New Adventures of Superman shared an hour slot with Aquaman, whom we just finished watching. The third season shared an hour with Batman, which we watched a long time ago. So from here to the end of season four, it's all Superman. Or Irving Man, if you prefer. Either one works for me. Perched atop a mountain near Metropolis is the new research laboratory of the brilliant inventor, Professor Noble. His associate, Professor Honorable, is out doing some field work. Who is unaware that his mountain is laced with tunnels, leading to the secret hideout of Ape, A-P-E, the allied perpetrators of evil. For those who missed season one or have forgotten, the associated perpetrators of evil consists of Lex Luthor, Brainiac, and the Warlock. A human, a robot, and a thing with a hat. The Professor's Trouble Televisor is a clever device. It's designed to spot trouble and crime before it happens. Uh, that thing could put us evildoers out of business. That's kind of the idea. Professor Noble, if this thing works, it'll be the greatest crime-fighting invention in history. That's right, see? This is Biggie talking, see? Please tell me someone gets that one. We'll find out, Perry, right now. Great Caesar's ghost! That's Brainiac, the humanoid robot from Mega. I'd better activate the Superman alarm signal. Uh-oh. This is a job for Superman. I admit I've missed that. Aquaman was fun, but there's nothing quite like that line. I hope Superman got your message. He will be too late. <laughs> Professor, look! He's going to shrink the trouble televisor. Then it'll only show itty bitty problems like Joe down the street has a hangnail. No, you don't. Superman! Don't worry. I'll restore you to normal size. He tried to destroy the trouble televisor. Even worse, look what he did to us. He knows I look terrible in polka dots. More trouble. It's reporting that Superman just broke something that doesn't belong to him. That's a power line tower in the valley. And that's the warlock with his magic ruby. After Superman kept smashing them, he finally started buying them in bulk from big box stores like Joe's Club and Bialotco. That was lame even for the warlock. A choo choo? Superman makes it impossible to get near the invention. Okay, so we destroy the generator that powers the invention. Uh, we'll keep Superman busy while you blow up the generator shack. While he does probably have his own generator or similar device when he needs to use high voltage, do they really suppose he's not on the city's power grid? I expect way more devious than this out of Luther. Still, it's good that they remember the best way to keep Superman busy. And they're making her do the Charleston. Those fiends, don't they know this is the 60s? Now I'll make a dragon rock come to life. Help! Relax, Miss Lane. I'll take care of it. Scratch one local landmark. That was rude. All right, Miss Lane. Now you go into the lab while I... A bomb. No time to lose. Away!
Unfortunately, the generator was destroyed anyway when Superman slammed into it because he couldn't stop after he crashed through the wall. That does it. Now I'm going to put those apes in a cage. Apes. Cage. I see what you did there. Ah, Brainiac's flying saucer. After it. Seeing the Man of Steel racing toward them, Brainiac envelops his ship in a powerful shield of force. We learned last season that even Superman can't break through it. If I can't get in, I'll make you fellows come out. Why? You said you needed the cage. There you go. Oh, I see. He needs them to be going so they can't think of a way out of this. In just a few seconds, this pressure cooker will pop open. Superman, stop! Please give up! Inside, apes. But you said you wanted them to come out. That was the whole idea. Make up your mind. So, my invisible friend, you want to play, eh? You two can say goodbye to this junk pile. You're heading for a rock pile at the prison. I assume he smashed yet another of the warlock's rubies. I also assume Luther can figure out how to put Brainiac back together. I further assume that his first order of business will be to decide if he wants to put Brainiac back together. I doubt we'll get to see that episode. And now for a report from the Missed Opportunities Department. Have you heard about the scary experience I had today? I Of course I heard, Lois. Hasn't everyone? Oh, I suppose you don't believe I really did see a dragon fly. Sure I believe it. I do believe it. Someone please explain to me why he didn't say, I've seen lots of dragonflies myself, Lois. Hey friends, if you enjoyed the video, please click the thumbs up button and let me and YouTube know it. If you're not subscribed yet, you know what to do. And remember, you can become a patron of this channel for as little as $2 a month. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.